I'm excited and I'm sure you're excited to use the new SDXL of Stable Diffusion. It's only been out a few days and everyone's diving in. I'm going to show you how to use it in low memory situations. Here I have Stable Diffusion working on various laptops and then I stream it out to whatever computer I'm on. This gives me a way to go test out things nice and safe, like a low memory situation so I could get that knowledge and share it with you. Before we continue, please subscribe because subscriptions Keep me encouraged for making these videos and please share this video if you find it useful. All right, let's get down to business and get this working on your own low VRAM situation. To start using SDXL, look in the description and download the following files. You'll see a link to the base. So download SDXL base and snag up the lore while you're there. Place SDXL into your stable diffusion models folder. So model stable diffusion. Place the LoRa file, of course, in your models slash LoRa's. And then head over to that other URL and download the refiner and place that also in the models slash stable diffusion folder. Now you're ready to get started. Well, that low memory thing first. On this low memory laptop, I have a low memory dot bat file and the command line flag to your normal bat file. Since I do a lot of testing, a lot of variations, I have different bat files for launching. This one will have dash dash low VRAM. That's all you have to do. Save the file, double click to launch it, and then you're ready to start using Stable Diffusion SDXL. Select it from your menu, like usual, under Stable Diffusion Checkpoints. Find the one that says SDXL base. Select that one. Wait for it to load. Next part is just to use Stable Diffusion like you normally do. And we'll, I'll show you how to use the refiner right after the main image is generated. Create your prompt. Then click on this icon and click on the LoRa right there. Pick the LoRa that you just installed before launching Stable Diffusion. Scroll a little further down and make sure to set your width and height to 1024 by 1024 and that's all you have to do. Next is to click generate and wait. Now because it's a low VRAM situation things will take a lot longer than normal. Things would take a little longer than normal if you had 8 gigabytes or more RAM. However, with low VRAM setting it's going to take longer. But that's cool because this is just to try it out, see if SDXL is worth it to you and if it is, run out to the store and get a laptop at least eight gigabytes of ram or get a bigger graphics card and put it into your desktop and make sure after you upgrade and move this line from your back file this way you get the full power of your gpu all that ram working to generate your image speaking of which let's take a look at how it's going and we can use in painting like normal to get rid of a little imperfection like that i want to show though how to use the refiner and to do that Go up here, switch to Refiner, so select it, wait for it to load, scroll down to the denoising strength, and set it to something a little low to start with, saying the denoise to 0.1. And before you click on Generate, just remove that LoRa tag right there, and click on Generate. All right, got my sharpness back here. You can see blurriness, right? And that's a lot sharper. The leg is a lot more defined, even though I would probably in-paint this away and in-paint a little bit here. But for the most part, it did an awesome job. So thank you, SDXL, and thank you, SDXL Refiner. And now you understand how to use not only SDXL, but SDXL in low memory situations, and I use the LoRa, and as well as the Refiner to upgrade the image. Remember to set your images to 1024 by 1024, because that's what the training model was built upon to get more detail into your images. So have fun, please subscribe, and please share this video if you find it useful.